Okay, this is vertex form. These two graphs are in vertex form. A is the number in front. H is that number in the parenthesis. K is the number by itself at the end. Now, be very careful. It's negative H, meaning the opposite of H. H is always the opposite of that number. The negative means the opposite of that number. So H is actually negative 1 here. K is actually 4 here. The formula is negative H. Okay. Now, the vertex is simply that is your a X value, that is your Y value of the vertex. HK. So if you have it in this form, that is your H, or the opposite of that, and K is the second number. Remember, HK, XY, it's coordinate. So if we look at this graph right here, your HK is simply going to be the opposite of 1 is negative 1, the, and then you leave 3. That's your vertex. Over here, what's HK or your vertex? What's the opposite of negative 4? Positive 4. And then you leave the negative 6. You don't change that. You only change this. Because it's opposite of H, K. K stays the same. You change H. Bam, bam. You just look at it, and your vertex is easy. You don't have to do any math. You just look. So if we plot this point, negative 1, 3, negative 1, 3. Over here, we're going to plot over 4, down 6. So we plot those points. That's our first step. We got the middle of our graph. Now, do you guys understand there's a line of symmetry going down the middle of these dots? Hopefully you understand the line of symmetry is going to be going down the middle of these dots because it's always on the vertex. You guys okay with that? You don't have to put the line of symmetry per se. It's just nice to see it. So we have a vertex. We have a line of symmetry. Now, what is all this A value? Your A value is very, very important. If your A value is negative, it's sad. Your parabola is very sad. It's frowning. But if your A value is positive, A is the number in front, positive is happy. It's positive. So, looking at this A value, what is A equal? For this problem, A is negative 1. Is that happy or sad? It's sad. So it is frowning. So do you understand my parabola is going to be frowning? Look over here. What's A equal? Three. Oh, what's that mean? It's positive. It's a happy little guy. So it's happy. So this parabola is going to be going up. Okay. Now, over here, if the absolute value of A is less than one, something's going to happen. Now, the reason I said absolute value A, didn't we already look at the, the number? Okay. Since this is negative, isn't it sad? Mm -hmm. So I need to ignore the negative. How do you say ignore negative? Positive. Doesn't that mean absolute value? Doesn't absolute value mean ignore the negative? Okay. So that's why the absolute value is there. Ignoring the negative. Here, do we have to ignore the negative? No. No, it's positive already. So looking at the norm number all by itself without the negative, if the value is less than 1, what's going to happen is it's going to be if it's less than 1, it's going to be wide. And what I mean by wide, it'll look like that. Not like that, but it'll be very wide, open, broad parabola. If the A value, after you ignore the negative, that's what absolute value means, is greater than 1, it's going to be narrow. Narrow basically means, woo, like very narrow. It just narrows in. It goes, Wide, broad, narrow, squishy, squeezed. So looking at this, 
This one is actually one. One is normal. This graph is going to be normal. Got it? If I say something's wide or something's narrow, don't you have to have a normal? If I say someone's fat or skinny, don't you have to have a normal? You have to have a standard? So one is your standard. Got it? You have a wide and a, no, and a, and a narrow comparison to one. So do you understand this one is normal? Because the absolute value of negative one is one. Normal. What's this one going to be? Is this three greater than one or less than one? Greater than one. So it is a narrow. It's greater than one. It's a narrow graph. This is going to be a narrow graph. This is going to be a normal graph. If this number in front was a fraction, it would. Do you understand? Less than one means fraction. Usually, unless it's like three over two. So this one is going to be narrow. This one's going to be normal, and so forth. 